Do you take other types of donations on your streams other than just subscriptions and bits? But do you use something like Patreon? Or better yet, do you use Coffee? Coffee's a new enough platform that's basically kind of taking over Patreon in like the streaming space. It's a really simple way just to send a one-time donation or you can even set up recurring memberships on Coffee for your fans to be able to support you directly. And thanks to the latest updates in Streambot 1.8, this is now official built in. Down below is the timestamps where you can go through the process of how to set up coffee on Streamerbot. And then also we're gonna be showcasing a cool alert that I made that you can have completely for free to be able to, you know, say thanks to everybody for who's after sending you donations during the stream. Let's go take a look right now. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, did I mention I have one too? Of course, link is gonna be down below if you wanna throw any love and support our way over at the team at Gazelle, where we make the YouTube channel point rewards and we make the gazelle.me social profile, which is your link tree alternative. If you wanna help those projects, our coffee link is down below. So the setup is quite simple. If you don't already have an account with coffee, make sure you go create an account there first. And once you're done that, let's jump over to streamer.bot. On streamer.bot, you just wanna click the sign in button here. And it's gonna prompt you to sign in through Discord. Press authorize. Once you're done that, then click on your profile picture up in the top right and go to user settings. From here then, you should be able to see an option for coffee. And then inside of there, you should see the coffee webhook URL and also a space to enter in your verification token. What you wanna do is copy that coffee webhook URL and jump over to coffee. From here then, head over and click the more button and then select API. Take that URL that you got from streamer.bot and paste it in here. Then also generate a verification token. We're gonna need that in a sec. With that verification token, you just wanna pop it in here back into the streamer.bot website and that basically ensures that the connection is established. Once you've done that, now open up streamer.bot, head over to integrations then go to streamer.bot website and then you should be able to see here coffee. To actually make the connection, however, you're going to need to click on the settings button. You're going to want to auto connect and auto reconnect and connect onto the streamer.bot website. From inside that coffee section here then is where you can actually set up the different actions to happen on different alerts, the things that can happen through coffee. One thing that's not here right now is the memberships. So if someone subscribes to a membership of a specific tier, we currently can't actually pull that data back, even though it is available inside the API. Nate does know about this and hopefully there'll be a fix for it soon. It is possible, however, that it could just be an issue on coffee's side. I'm not entirely sure of the situation, but I'm sure once it does get fixed, there will be some noise about it. Now it's time to move on to that action I made that I was talking to you about at the start of the video. I create an alert here that basically just pulls the latest data and then it makes just a little pop-up box. It just comes in and says, you know, this user tipped this amount, thank you. And then even a little place for you to add your URL so other people who see it know what exactly is happening. Here we have an other OBS instance here where it's all created and of course the links for the stream bot import string and this scene will be in the description down below as well as any other plugins that you might need to get this working. But basically on the coffee API page you can actually send test donations and alerts and stuff like that so that's exactly what we can do here. So to showcase this I'm going to test a single donation right here. So there's a little bit of a delay but then it comes in and it starts auto automatically filling in the information and it's also playing a pouring sound effect which is also going to be linked down below. Once it's been up on the screen for about 10 seconds it's all just going to swipe away and be done and out of the way. Simple and clean. If you're having trouble importing this scene on your own OBS I'm going to walk through that step now. So first things first you have to make sure you have the source copy plugin downloaded. Link for that's going to be down below and as well on the github page. Once you have that done you want to head over to tools, go over to source copy and you want to load a scene. We're going to take that load scene we're going to have is going to be called OBS scene here and I double click that and now we have this new scene here coffee alert now and then just to actually test that all this stuff is working let's pull back open our coffee page and we're going to test a single donation again it's on a completely different OBS and everything loads up right there perfectly. It is also good to note that it may not be 100% exactly like yours. I'm using a custom font called Fire Black. You can use whatever fonts that you want. You can manipulate any of this text that you want. You can move this around to wherever you want it to be. This is basically just my canvas for you to be able to get started. I would just be cautious, however, if you are renaming this to something else, it means that these files are all going to need to be reassigned so you're gonna to have to double click in here for example and make sure that it is pointing to exactly where it should be pointing to again as always the streamer bot import is really really easy just press the import button and drag in the import string thanks so much for sticking around for this part of the video if you haven't already please leave a like and drop a subscribe down below we would really 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 appreciate it if you're looking for more content to watch we have other videos right here and right here too go check them out we'll see you in the next one peace